Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new tutorial every week to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. I recently attended an event where we weren't allowed to take in any bags or purses unless they were completely clear. And if you know anything about me, I will not go anywhere without my bag. So being the crafty person that I am, I sat down and came up with how I wanted to make a clear tote bag with a zipper at the top. So I'll be showing exactly how I made it and then at the end I will let you know one of the things that I would change if I made this bag again. To start I cut out two pieces for the bag body and two for the strap. You can make this bag in any size that you want but I will have the exact measurements that I used listed out on my website WhitneySews.com and the direct link to the post will be in this video's description. So the easiest way I found to work with clear vinyl is to actually use an acrylic ruler and a marker. I mark on the vinyl exactly where I need to cut then I cut right along the marked line with scissors. When I used to try to cut it with a ruler and a rotary cutter, it never went well because it's really hard to see where the cut edge is under the ruler. So the mark that you're trying to line up with to find the other measurement and my pieces always ended up turning out like lopsided and all sorts of stuff. So um, marking it with a marker is just the easiest way to go. The my vinyl was pretty wrinkly to start with because I don't have the best storage solution for it. So I tried something new for getting the wrinkles out. I heated up my iron and then I ran it over my pressing surface to warm up the surface. Then I put the vinyl on that warm surface and smoothed it out with my hands. For the larger pieces, it can take a few times to get the entire piece smooth and it won't necessarily turn out perfect but it definitely did help a lot. Not only did it get rid of most of the creases, it also made the vinyl a little bit more flexible and easier to work with. You never want to put a hot iron directly on your vinyl because it will melt it so this is like the next best thing. I'm going to start with the straps. I wanted them to be pretty simple so I just folded them in half lining up the edges and sewed along the long side to hold everything in place. Then I sewed along the other long side just so it looked more symmetrical and nice. Repeat for the second strap. Position one strap on each bag body piece. Use a ruler to make sure they're even and the same distance from each side. I think I put mine about three and a half inches from the outer edge. Sew a square at the end of each strap to fasten it into place. And they should look like this. Grab a ruler that's at least as long as the top of your pieces and lay it right sides up. Fold the handle down so it's out of the way and place the bag body piece right sides down on top. Line the edges of the vinyl up with the top edge of the zipper. Add a few craft clips and sew along the zipper tape next to the teeth to attach. Flip everything to the right sides and sew a top stitch along the folded edge while smoothing the vinyl away from the zipper teeth. I wanted to mention that this was one of the easiest vinyl projects so far because the vinyl didn't stick to the sewing machine while I was working with it like usual. And I can only assume it was because I warmed it up on the ironing surface earlier because that's the only thing that I did differently. I will definitely be doing that again for other vinyl projects in the future. With the zipper right sides up, add the second body piece right sides down, making sure the handle is out of the way. Add clips and sew like the first. Open it up and add a top stitch along the edge. Make sure the zipper is partially opened and lay the two sides of the bag so they are right sides together. Line up all the edges and add craft clips along the sides and bottom to hold everything in place. Sew along the sides and bottom. I used a half inch seam allowance on mine. You want to back stitch at the beginning and ending of each seam you sew. Trim off the excess zipper on each end. Then it's time to box the corners. It's a little hard to tell what all I'm doing in this video since the vinyl is clear, so I'll link to some of my other bag tutorials where I show this step better. 
I marked a line where the box is two inches deep then sewed a half inch away from the marked line. I normally sew right on top of the line, but I didn't want the marker to show on the finished bag, so after sewing, I used the marked line as a guide for cutting. All that is left is to turn the bag right sides out through the zipper top and enjoy using it. So as I mentioned earlier, I do have one thing that I would change on this bag, and it is definitely the length of the handles. So I made this bag to have handles that were more of like a purse length, where you just carry it in your hand. Um, but after carrying it for a few hours, I definitely was wishing that I had made it more like a tote bag, where the straps are long enough to actually sit on your shoulder. So if I made the bag again, I would add a few inches to the straps so I could wear it up on my shoulder um, more like a tote bag. Now obviously you can make the bag in any size, shape, length of straps, whatever you want, um, but that's just my thoughts after making and using this bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. I'm going to have one of my other um, clear vinyl projects linked right over here to the side. It's one of my favorites and if you haven't already, make sure to click my picture right there to so subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And until next time, happy sewing!